companies that are involved in gas production. I could go on. What is the most compelling valuation within the energy space right now when you look at your universe of stocks? I think when you look at the universe of stocks, probably the most compelling valuation sits within the oil and gas service companies. And I'm not just talking about the diversified um, service companies like Baker Hughes, Halliburton, and Schlumberger, but what I'm talking about is equipment manufacturers like Cameron, like FMC Technologies. Um, there's that opportunity, and I think on the EMP side, we are seeing a lot of value given the fact that you're seeing some pretty strong growth in production, but valuations are very compelling. And I'd say the least attractive that I view right now is the in big integrated oil companies. It is a very big weight within the index, but uh, the fund um, does not own a significant weighting in the big integrated oil companies. One of your top holdings, in fact, the top, is Weatherford International. What is it about that company that you like right now? Well, I think if you go back over the last couple of years, Weatherford has been a bit of a, a value trap. Um, if you look at some of the acquisitions they've done, some of the integration issues that they've had, and some of the accounting issues and the Foreign Corrupt Business Practices Act that uh, has been a cloud around the stock, the valuation could not have uh, been any worse for the company. And they seem like they're finally turning the corner. They have their in internal accounting systems figured out. They're getting some very good um, um, momentum from the artificial lift business. And I think just management has kind of come to the conclusion that, um, you know, the sins of the past are not acceptable on a go-forward basis. And if you look at the earnings momentum over the next 12 to 18 months, it looks very positive. And that's why, you know, I continue to hold the stock. And as you mentioned, it is the fund's biggest holding.